If you are trying to launch LD Player but run this error saying LD Player requires VT virtualization technology, don't worry, you are in the right place. Today, I'll walk you through how to fix this error and get back to playing your favorite mobile games on your PC. First things first, what exactly is VT or virtualization technology? VT is a feature built into most modern CPUs. It allows a single processor to act like multiple virtual processors, enabling you to run multiple virtual machines simultaneously on one physical machine. This is the core technology that makes virtual machine software like VirtualBox or VMware work. LD Player also utilizes this technology to run Android on your Windows PC. Without VT enabled, the Android emulator will either run very slowly or not launch at all. Now let's check if VT is enabled on your system. Open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab. Under the CPU section, you can see that virtualization is disabled. In the next step, we'll enable it in the BIOS settings. To enable VT, we need to access the BIOS. Open Windows settings. On the left hand side, click on Windows Update. Click Advanced Options then Recovery. Under Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. Your computer will restart to a blue screen. Click Troubleshoot. Advanced Option, UEFI Firmware Settings. Finally, click Restart. Your computer will now directly boot into BIOS or UEFI interface. Once you are in the BIOS, navigate to the Advanced tab. If you have an Intel CPU, look for Intel Virtualization Technology or Intel VTX. And if you have an AMD CPU, look for SVM or Secure Virtual Machine. Once you find it, enable the Virtualization option. Click Apply. If available, make sure to also enable VT for Direct I.O. or VTD. This allows better performance by giving LD player direct access to your hardware like graphic cards, network adapters, etc. Save the changes by pressing F10. Then exit the BIOS and restart your PC to apply the changes. Once your computer restarts, open Task Manager again. Now you can see it says virtualization enabled. Now that VT is enabled, go ahead and launch LD Player. The error should be gone and your emulator should run smoothly. Guys, if you are still encountering the error, you can open the Windows Features page and disable Hyper-V on Windows because this sometimes conflicts with VT. That's it for today folks, I hope this guide helped you fix the VT error in LD Player. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Techie Druid for more tech tips and tutorials. Got any questions or need more help, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. Until next time, happy gaming.